Yo, R.A.P. Paul Walker, man. For real. R.A.P. Paul Walker. I'm so... I am so disgusted that that they doing you like this. I was on my Facebook the other day, which is I barely go on there. I might, you know, creep on there like once a month, if that. But I went on there and I seen this guy post something about Paul Walker's death. Again, R.I.P. But apparently he didn't just die in a car crash. No, 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 no. Um, uh, the Clintons had him killed. The Clintons had him killed. Um, if you let them tell it, he's a part of the Clinton body count. This is obviously total bullshit. But essentially, um, uh, the Fast and the Furious star, Paul Walker, again, God rest his soul. Let the man rest in peace. Apparently, he dug up some dirt. He found some information when they were out in Haiti because, you know, Paul Walker was a humanitarian, a great person. He was out in Haiti with the Clintons, you know, doing work. And apparently he stumbled across some dirt. You know, the Clintons are trying to wipe out Haiti. Right. You know, messing with the kids and all that. And he got some irrefutable evidence. And while he was on his way. To drop off said evidence, I guess somebody planted a bomb in his car or they altered his brakes and he died in a car act in an air quote car accident. Bro, apart from the work that they did together in Haiti. Paul Walker has nothing to do with the Clintons, nothing. In fact, all this evidence, it's. Like th this, this story, this conspiracy theory, it's all f uh, founded on Facebook. Google it. Don't take my word for it. Google it. Do your own due diligence. You can't find anything online that has concrete evidence. In fact, the evidence pointing to uh, the Clintons Xing out Paul Walker again, God rest his soul. It's about as credible as what I'm saying. Like, you don't know me. You're just listening to it on the Internet. Like there's. There's no facts here. Like, I don't like, you know, what's so crazy to me is like, what is more likely, right? What is more likely somebody dying in a car accident, right? Right. Or the Clintons having him murdered again, statistically, <laughs> right? Statistically, think about how many car accidents happen every single day, right? And then even think about like how many people die from car accidents every single day around the world. What is more likely Paul Walker dying in a car accident or the Clintons having him murdered? I mean, you know, I, I get it. It's the pandemic. Well, not so much now, but over the last two years, two and change, like we've been in the house, we've been bored. We want to occupy our minds, but why not do something? I don't know. That could benefit other people. Or even just yourself, pick up a book, read something, exercise, you know, um, uh, paint, find whatever it was you used to really enjoy as a child. Why don't you revisit that? Hmm? Work overtime, but don't waste your time on this bullshit. Let the man rest in peace. Do you guys, you know, he has a family, right? A living family, right? And you're rehashing this all over again. When somebody dies, it's very, very, very hard. Like you never get over it, but eventually you inch by inch, get a piece of your life back, you know, because they, there's a hold now. So you inch by inch, get a piece of your life back. And then some stupid assholes try to toss his name in a conspiracy theory right back up again. You guys are remorseless. You guys are not fact based in any way. And hey, I could be totally wrong and I'm open to being wrong, but you got to have evidence. You can't just show up to court and be like, hey, this is what happened. All right, where's your evidence? Um, well, the Clintons are murdered. No, where's your evidence? Yeah, that's all I got. You guys are dumb, man. Um, RIP Paul Walker, you guys. Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you conspiracy theory nuts. Um, uh, yeah, stay away from me, please. Thank you. Bye.